The powder ball came out about what, four or five years ago, with the original 2020. And uh, the general philosophy of what we were trying to achieve there was to how do we create flotation, equal flotation on a twin when you're landing backwards in powder. Um, taking a lot of inspiration again from surfing, but in this aspect, I was looking at longboards. Um, a lot of surfboards will have either concaves or convex and channels and that sort of thing, but longboards in particular, um, especially ones that are good for nose riding, so I'm told, not a nose rider, um, have a deep, pronounced concave in the front of the boards. That allows the surfer to stand up on the nose and the board magically, not only what's going on the tail, magically seems to be able to just perch up there. The concave does an awful lot of that for them. It draws air underneath the hull and causes lift, maintaining the board up. So taking that idea and applying it to a twin, that's exactly what the deep pronounced concave does. It draws air in under the hull. There's more space here. It, it tapers as you come through, so it compresses the air causing lift like this. The reverse happens as the air releases underneath the base. You can imagine the air traveling, it's compressed here, it's causing lift here. As it comes here, that compression gets released as it expands in the wider kind of reverse venturi effect happening. And what that does is that actually pulls, creates a bit of a suction vacuum and pulls the tail down. So of course, leaning forward or backward does an awful lot more to affect your weight. But in general terms, all other things being equal, the board wants to float down the hill in this plane. When you land switch, the same thing wants to happen. Whatever's going down the hill and drawing air in wants to lift. Whatever's releasing the snow wants to drop. That kind of gave us a, uh, a true twin that floats like a directional board.